Three Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Aeronautica Imperialis in about three minutes. Review copy used. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two or more players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. In the grim dark future, pilots take to the sky to engage in relentless dogfights. Two squadrons come into range, the heavy brutal fighters of the Imperial Fists and the agile ships of the Lugnarth craft world, who will come out on top. The game ends after either 12 rounds, when the scenario say so, or when one force is reduced to one craft remaining. Points by. Each player has a points budget to buy units from a list. Secret orders. You will place orders in secret for each craft. Dice. Conflict is resolved with dice rolls. Player turn. Select the scenario to play and set a points budget. Set up the game according to the scenario rules. Each craft has a series of stats that determine how fast it goes, how well it can maneuver, and its weapons loadout. Your army list will also have optional weapons and upgrades. Each craft tracks its current speed on the left and its altitude on the right. Facing is also very important in the game, so mount the models facing forward. To start the turn, place a hidden order for each craft beside it. Each order number matches one of these movement diagrams, but only the most agile craft can use all eight. Then roll for initiative. The winner chooses which side moves first. Before resolving movement, any craft tailing an enemy can make an attack roll. We'll cover attack later. This craft has a speed of 2 and has picked the level flight maneuver so it moves straight two places. This craft has four speed and has picked the stoop move. Here are two possible places a craft could move and then again to here. Finally the move shows how you can change the craft's facing. You can also climb reducing your speed or descend to increase it. You can also use your throttle score to change speed. Going over your speed or altitude maximums can send you into a stall and possibly a spin, forcing you to gain control of the craft before you crash. Players alternate moving craft one at a time until all craft have executed their moves. Once that is done, we go to shooting. These craft are at short, medium, and long ranges respectively from the yellow fighter. Weapons have three ratings for short, medium, and long. A five plus is needed to hit, but each difference in altitude increases that by one. A fighter much higher or lower is impossible to hit. Let's level them out. The shuriken cannons have eight dice at short range. We roll five hits, but now have to roll for damage. The damage of the weapon is 5+, plus, so we roll the hits again, scoring 2 damage. The yellow fighter has 3 structure, so it keeps on flying for now. Why would you like this game? Air to air combat games are a pretty specific niche, and this is one of the better ones. Balancing accessibility with some deeper mechanics like altitude and stalling makes for a robust gameplay experience. If you are a fan of the Warhammer 40,000 setting, that's a definite plus here, as knowing the lore of the setting will help. The core box comes with the rules and all these figures and can be expanded with additional model boxes as well as other factions sold separately. The list building allows you to customize your squadrons, and it's always fun to tinker with loadouts. And while I think this is one for the Warhammer fans first and foremost, anyone interested in air-to-air -air combat games would also find it engaging and fun. The best thing about this game is the miniatures. They inspired me to get out my brushes and paint a full game for the first time in years. However, the rules felt quite old school, and the Games Workshop standard of roll to hit and then roll to damage is always a bit clunky. The original rule set dates back to 2007, which is probably why it uses 8 tokens for the moves instead of a dial. I solved this issue using d8s and opaque cups. Oh, and painting the game is almost mandatory. For a Star Wars theme and more modern mechanics, try X-Wing. And for something far more detailed, try Wing Leader Supremacy. Aeronautica Imperialis. New figures, old rules. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.